Hello, this is your introduction to SAP Concur Web Services brought to you by the Global Web Services Delivery Team. For any questions on the content of this presentation or general SAP Concur Web Services questions, please email us at webservices at concur.com. Uh, before I get started, I want to first thank you for becoming a Concur Web Services subscriber. Uh, we on the team work very hard to help our clients through their integration projects and also provide first class support well after you've implemented Concur. If you're a current Concur subscriber and you would like to add on web services, we hope this presentation is helpful to make your decision. With that being said, we'll get started. So uh, Concur, uh, SAP Concur offers two types of APIs to our clients. And one that's vastly uh, you know, used a lot more than the other one is uh, called the regular web services calls. And web services basically accept requests from external application and respond with Concur data. What that means is that your application, your program is going to send what's called an HTTP request, a get, post, put, or delete, and it's going to perform a specific task, and it will have an authorization header attached to it with a valid access token. And what that all means, I'm going to get into more of this in the slides, is that you send us a request, we return real time with data. Uh, that's the one biggest um, advantage of going with APIs versus uh, any other process is that you can perform your integrations real time. Uh, another type of API is called callouts, and that they work in reverse from regular a traditional API calls. That's where we set up a secure connection between our servers and a server on either your premise or a hosted server, uh, and we can make those API calls, uh, those requests out to that server. Now, that'd be a pre-configured step somewhere, such as in an expense form, uh, where we can send a call out or a request over to your server, and you'd have to respond. Uh, get more into call outs here in a couple more slides. The architecture is called REST, RESTful Service, and that is a representational state transfer. Uh, what that is, is that uh, it's basically a snapshot of your data. Uh, you request uh, the data from our servers. Uh, we return with a uh, snapshot of what your data, how it appears at that point in time. And that's done through a URI, Uniform Resource Identifier, which is an API, uh, and it's a program uh, that will perform a specific task, such as give me all the vendors uh, for a particular cost center uh, or something like that. Um, so what it is is clients initiate requests to servers, servers process requests, and return appropriate responses. It is real-time integration versus an overnight process, which is an FTP process where you drop a flat file onto the server, it runs overnight, and Concur is updated then. Uh, you can actually set up a program to run uh, financial integrations through to your ERP throughout the day. Uh, it's lower overhead and better performance than the SOAP methodology that was popular about 10 years ago. Now, the two types of methods we support, we have a GET request uh, that requests a representation of a specified resource. One thing you need to know about GET requests, can't do any damage to your environment uh, by doing GET requests. However, we do recommend a lot of testing when you're doing posts, puts, or deletes, and that's posting, creating, put is updating, and delete is removing a resource from the UI. Uh, actually, we will not uh, delete completely a, uh, a line item or record from your Concur system. It is available for historical reporting, but you cannot pull up the record on the UI if it's been removed or deleted. The uh, security, uh, we have uh, Web Services Authentication, which is OAuth 2.0 to share resources. Uh, what that is, is you need a valid authentication token need on every uh, HTTP request to our servers. And the way you generate that is that we're going to send you a credentials via secure email, encrypted email uh, after this. And uh, once you become a subscriber uh, and uh, contain a client ID and a client secret that's uh, unique to your site, uh, it also include a login ID and password. Uh, the the uh, WS admin at your email address.com. One unique thing you need to know about this account is that you do not use it to log into the UI. It's only made to generate your access token. Uh, the access tokens, they expire after one hour, so your program will have to keep refreshing the access token. And uh, you are responsible for OAuth token administration, such as 
uh, you're, you're responsible if you wanted to change the password uh, periodically for the WS Admin account. Just so you know, that could break your integration, so you'd have to have a process in place to update your program at the same time. Uh, now, we accept API requests from any platform. Uh, your, the request must include a valid authorization token and be in a valid format, such as a post request. You need to make sure that all of the fields are included, all the required fields are included in your post request to update, to add a new user record, for instance. Um, we accept requests from in-house programs written in .NET, Java, or Perl. Uh, also, Concur, we have SAP Concur partner applications and third-party companies that build integrations to Concur. Um, also, uh, cloud-based integration platforms, uh, which are becoming more and more popular now with third-party companies or clients just purchasing them. Uh, and But we will re accept requests from any platform. It just has to contain the... Um, correct authentication or token and format. The most common web services integrations that we have are uh, right here as follows. Uh, these are mostly uh, on the expense side, but a lot of these transfer to all of the uh, products here, including invoice and travel. Uh, but attendee lists is a popular integration and that's usually an integration with your CRM. Uh, where you can send in the most uh, recent list of attendees for your employees to choose from, such as for a business luncheon, they want to put clients onto their expense report. Uh, you can provide them with the most recent list uh, through an API call. Uh, extract API, that is financial uh, integration. That's how we recommend to uh, integrate with your ERP uh, into your general ledger. Uh, and that would be such as the expense report or the uh, standard accounting expense report uh, that is extract that is produced after a report has gone through each step of the workflow and has been processed and then it, it's captured within the extract it's that 400 field um, pipe delimited flat file that's delivered by the API it's the same exact format as this if you would have downloaded through the UI uh, the expense report APIs, those are usually used in dashboards, uh, reporting dashboards. You want to pull data out of Concur uh, to report on spending amongst, let's say, departments or organizations. Uh, you also want to look at spending versus your budget. Uh, there's uh, a lot of organizations have reporting dashboards and they use our expense APIs quite a bit. Uh, the imaging APIs are your reports, uh, your report uh, receipts uh, that are attached to your reports. Uh, those receipts can be downloaded uh, in from Concur and put to another system. Uh, just so you know, with the imaging APIs, we only make the image available to you through the API for 30 minutes. So your program would have to save the image off to another server. Uh, it comes in a PDF uh, format for you to save. Uh, the list item APIs, those are your drop-down boxes that are in your invoice or expense or uh, travel request forms. Uh, you can keep those up to date in real time so your employees have the most recent cost, cost object codes uh, to choose from or job codes. Uh, also your user APIs, those are uh, usually an in integration with your HR system and uh, that is uh, bringing over user provisioning new users or uh, deactivating users or updating user data. The callouts we make available, these are all just on the expense product right now. Uh, we are making more callouts available, but as you say, callouts work in the other, in reverse from regular API calls. And fetch list is a very popular one. If you have a very complicated accounting hierarchy or a very uh, large thousands of rows of data for like job numbers and cost objects, you can use a fetch list where we'll send you a request and you provide the employee with what they should choose in that dropdown. Uh, fetch attendee works the same way. You have very large lists of clients uh, that need to be uh, added to expense reports. Uh, the the uh, employee can enter uh, a search uh, and then we would do a call out to your server. You provide the employee with what should appear in the results, such as they put John Smith in, uh, we come back with all the John Smiths in your CRM. Event notification, that's a stop, a predetermined stop in the integration uh, that where um, actually it's uh, within your workflow 
uh, we will put a uh, report into pending external validation um, and you can make an extra validations call and check against the data in there and um, send us back whether or not that report should go into the workflow to the next level approver or be bounced back to the employee for more uh, corrections. The launch external URL is if you host a website that you want your employees to have access to while they're filling out their expense report, uh, we can put a uh, pop-up up there. They would do, let's say, a search for WBS code, hit save, and it would appear into their concur report. And that is it. The contacts here, make sure you email us at webservices.concur.com if you have any questions about this video. Also, integrate tools at concursolutions.com and developer concur reference site uh, is available as well. Uh, we want to thank you for uh, your subscription to Concur Web Services and good luck with your integration projects.